Hey everybody, what's going on? Devin here, back with another brand new showcase. You guys haven't seen this in a while, but today we're going to be showcasing Crack D4C, or basically D4C Love Train. Now, the design is actually incredible. I'm very surprised. It doesn't look very canon, I don't know, but um, I think it looks great. The moves are also really cool, but uh, this is actually one of the first stands I've been excited for in a very long time. Uh, there's not many stands I have been excited for in this game, but, you know, this is one of them I have been excited for. So anyways, let's get on to the moveset. So the first move just seems to be a heavy strike. You press E, and then it just knocks someone back. Same with R, actually. R is also another heavy strike. It does more damage, though. The next move is T, which teleports you into the D4C dimension. You press T, and you can't be attacked. So attack me. Real quick, attack me. So he should not be able to attack me. I also can't damage anyone, so that's pretty cool. It is really overpowered if you want to get away from someone. Press R. Wait. Oh, yeah, so that does no damage. That's pretty good. The next move is Y, which is, you know, just a gunshot. It shoots a gun, but it also seems to, like, deflect off someone else, which is pretty cool. It, so, it, like, shoots a clone and, like, blocks for you, which is awesome. If you press Y, as you can see, it shoots, like, a... Your clone pops out, and it just, you know, deflects it. I don't know what the clone is meant to do, but it looks like it's meant to, you know, deflect it off that and to hit someone else. All right, so the next move is called a... Is, eh, the next move is, like, a clone summon attack. You press H, and it, like, summons a clone, and it does, like, an aerial attack. I'm gonna redo that, because it missed... So I'm going to reset real quick and we'll cut to that. So you press H. It does like an aerial attack. So it does actually pretty good damage. So the next move is Love Train. You press F. And so the thing about Love Train is I spelled the attack wrong. But projectiles can actually hit through it. So if you, he used Emerald Splash, it would damage me. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I guess that also works. Requiem can hit me, I guess, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so as you can see, like Requiem and uh, I guess Requiem and... Um, uh, projectiles can hit you, which they probably need to- f I don't know about Requiem, but I'm pretty sure they probably need to fix it for projectiles. So, that's, uh, on to the next move. So, V is like a teleport move. You press V, and they teleport a little bit in front of you, or behind you. I'm pretty sure it's, like, based on wherever the person is. So, if I press V on, I don't know, Mr. Peanut, you can stand, like, right in front of you now, and so I can tap. So, it's kind of like a teleport in front of you move, you know? And the final move is a clone summon, so you hold B... And, you know, use your American flag. And you can summon up to three clones of yourself. And they all fight. So, I, they don't have stands. But they can all fight at the exact same time. They have guns, though. Which is pretty cool. And now, that, that's all the moves. So let's get on to the 1v1. Alright, so overall, I think the design looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. It's- oh, well, I'm over here now. <laughs> it's a pretty cool design. It's a lot of fun to- it's, it's a lot of fun to use in general. It has great moves. It has, like, you know, just a great animation. So this looks- this is one of the better looking stands I've seen AB, uh, the ABD team make. And I'm really excited for more now because they actually did great on this. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and sub. Uh, if you want to help support the channel even more, uh, share with your friends. That'd be awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.